Why, hello, neighbor. Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me, and welcome back to Pretty Hippie Christmas. As you can tell, I just got a haircut, and I feel young and fresh and free, probably the best I've felt about my hair in a very long time. As you can also tell, I got creative with some blue eye makeup today. A video about that look will be coming shortly during Pretty Hippie Christmas. But that's not what you're here for today. You're here for the second part of my retelling of the Christmas fashion emergency that I endured recently at work. So I'll get right into that conclusion after I briefly mention I'm having a giveaway. I am moving closer and closer to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that gift this Christmas. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I would like to return the favor because I will be so grateful for that milestone because of how much it means to a young YouTuber's life. I would like to gift one of my subscribers with 100 American dollars. To be considered for this giveaway opportunity, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel leave your Instagram in a comment below, and then go find me on Instagram at Pretty Hippie Me. Follow me there. That's where I will communicate with the winner and arrange exactly how I will send them that $100. So to pick up where we left off in the story, yesterday I got to work and after a couple of hours was told by my boss that the following day, Saturday, what this video is about was going to be Christmas card picture day for the staff and that he was going to do a ton of photos and that the ladies needed to bring a red dress, a white dress, and an ugly Christmas sweater, all of which I did not own. Not in sizes that fit me well enough that I wanted to wear it on camera because the camera adds 10 pounds, you know, and I've recently added like 30 pounds, so I didn't want to add another 10. So I spent the whole day, basically, from that point forward, about eight hours visiting about 22 stores to try to find myself a red dress, a white dress, and an ugly Christmas sweater. I cobbled a few things together, and in this video, I'm going to try on all of the options that I have so that I can show them to you and also so that I can see how they actually fit me and what I should actually bring to work as an option versus what I should leave at home because I would just be too embarrassed if they happened to choose that option. So this is a bit of a try-on haul slash closet try-on and then also seeing what my boss chooses to actually be put into the photos. So we'll see if yesterday's trip around the world to get all of these clothing items was worth it or not. I hope you enjoy. I hope you stick around until the end to see what the boss chooses. So with all that being said, with the giveaway and the recap out of the way, let's get into the conclusion of my Christmas fashion emergency caused by my boss. Because apparently that's a real thing that can happen to a person. <laughs> let's go. Hi neighbor, it's the next day. Welcome back to me trying real hard not to hate my boss. Um, sorry. So I had a emotional evening just kind of letting everything sink in from the day and talking about it with my boyfriend and he was very upset on my behalf and you know there was just a lot of feelings but it is a new day. I'm going to try my best to get my outfits together. We're gonna try the things on today and just see what we can come up with for this mandatory Christmas photo. I think I'm gonna start with red options. So for what I already have, I have this dress from Forever 21 Plus, which is an XL. I'm pretty sure it's too small for me. There's also the fact that the front of it is sheer like this and it's just generally kind of short on me. I'm not gonna bring options that I know definitely don't fit me so that's why i'm trying these things on this morning before i go to the yeah see look it's just it's so short i have my mirror over here so like it doesn't not fit but it's definitely short and see-through and all of the things that make me say maybe not for a professional photo okay next up the option that I know is not going to work, but I'm still going to try it on anyway. This is the dress I got from Shein. It's a 3XL. I got this in my first Shein haul in the summer. 
the one that has 10,000 views, which I'm really excited about. It's my only video that has that many views. Thank you if you're here from that video and still sticking around. Now this dress is a 3XL. At the time that I got it, I felt like it was too tight. I am now fatter than I was at the time that I got it. And oh, would you look at that. It is not a better fit. This is the dress that I was referring to when I originally told my boss, like, yeah, I mean, I guess I have a red dress, but it's too tight for me. Mm, I don't even have to look in the mirror to know that this is tight. I can see it in my camera. <laughs> I don't like it. I feel like it's just too tight in this area. I can't tell too, cause these narrow mirrors are like, they're like skinny mirrors that make everything look better than it really is. Um, I'm trying to hold it as unflatteringly as possible so that I see the truth. In this mirror, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. On camera, it is worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> so somewhere in the middle is the truth. I just, I feel very self-conscious about how it fits in this area. These are my red options. This one and this dress I got from Burlington last night. That's basically it. I mean, to be completely honest, 100% honest, this does fit me better than I remember, which makes me wonder why I thought it didn't fit me well when I originally tried it on. In terms of new items that I got yesterday, I have this dress from Burlington, which I did not try on. I already tried on the dress from Christopher and Banks. I showed that to you yesterday in the video. So I don't feel super inclined to try it on again right now, just because I'm on a time crunch this morning. I have to go get an ugly Christmas sweater. Now this is one of those dresses at Burlington slash other department stores that you can tell is like for your aunt. For some reason, the dresses that always have these like things on the top. To be honest, first impression, seeing myself in the camera, not bad. The fit looks okay. Um, it's a size 16W. The brand is JM Studio by John Meyer. Oh God, okay. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's festive, it's Christmassy. I do feel like that aunt though. <laughs> it's like the trope of like, that aunt who's like really exuberant and like she's a world traveler and she comes home and she brings the souvenirs from all the places she's been and tells all these stories and she like kind of makes whatever party she's at about herself and all of her adventures and rekindling her connections with all of her friends that she's missed while she's been traveling in the forests of Brazil. Here's an ancient stone artifact that we happened upon. It's loud, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's a loud dress. Could you hang in on the molding? This dress is like a meh to me. I like this more than I necessarily thought I would. And it's definitely easy. I think that this does hug my body just as much as the red dress that I just tried on from Shein. However, because of the print, I feel like the shadow of my belly protruding is a little less obvious. Oh, you should have seen in India, the Diwali celebrations. Oh, that and I'm confident and comfortable with this as an option. I think that my favorite option is the Christopher and Banks dress, to be honest, but that is um, too summery. And I know that I'm still gonna bring it. I hope he goes with this dress because I went all over Timbuktu to find dresses yesterday. It would be nice if he chose one of the ones that I went so far out of my way to find and suffered through <laughs> the process of finding. Hello. You see her, right? I'm thinking about talking to my boss today and just pulling him aside and saying like, I know that you had a really strong vision about what you wanted this photo to look like, but please, for the love of God, would you consider never doing this again? <laughs> Hi, do you want to go up? You were just asking to go up here. And if I just tell him like yesterday was really embarrassing for me, it is not easy for me to shop in stores and actually find something. If I have time, it's very easy for me to order something if I have like a week, but the day of or the day before is just, it's very difficult. I had to go to like 30 stores or some ridiculous number. 
still, you know, this is the best I could come up with. Whereas if I had even just like a week's notice, I could have ordered something or just gone to more stores. And then that way I don't have to play out this whole embarrassing situation in front of everybody. I don't have to leave work to go shopping and then worry about whether or not I'm gonna get paid for my time. I am gonna put these hours on the clock because this was not like some fun and frivolous shopping trip. I was specifically shopping for a work purpose. This was not fun. <laughs> like in the moment while I was filming, I was trying to make light of it, trying to like laugh so I don't cry kind of thing. But it was very, very frustrating and very upsetting, honestly. Oh yeah, no, this is not gonna work. In theory, if this was like a collared shirt, it would kind of look cute like vintage vibes, but this is not gonna work with this. I'll just bring the dress as is, like I showed you before in the Christopher and Banks dressing room. And so those are my red options. Let's try the white things now. And the thing is like, he knew that I didn't have the stuff that he was looking for that fit me. P.S. This is a white dress from Ashley Stewart. I do have this, so I really, really hope that this fits me. This is the only like good white dress option that I have. What I'm trying to say is he didn't ask the skinny girls to go shopping to fit what I owned. I had to go shopping to fit what they owned. I can't find things in stores. Stores don't carry my sizes. If you're a dude and you're not familiar with how plus size fashion works, then you don't know that but it just, it felt particularly insulting because of that reason. Because rather than working with what I had and sending one of the skinny girls on a shopping trip, I had to take the whole freaking day, which not that I knew it was gonna be the whole day. I mean, I did kind of know in the back of my head that it was a possibility that it would be the entire day. And he knew too, because around four o'clock when we were talking about what do we do? He was like, well, I mean, yeah, you can go shopping. And you know, if you don't get back in time, which would have been nine o'clock, they know how to lock up without you. So it's okay, yeah, you can just go shopping. So he knew that there was a possibility that it could take like five hours for me to find something that worked, but he still sent me out to do that. But he didn't send one of the skinny girls at least one of whom definitely had the time in her schedule that day to be able to go do that. And he also didn't work with what I already had, even though green is a valid Christmas color. It's just, it felt very disrespectful in that regard of like, I have to be the one to go spend a bunch of money and purchase a bunch of options that I don't have. And I'm the one who basically can't because stores don't carry my sizes. So that's why I just like, I need to talk to him and be like, I know what it's like to be inspired and to have ideas. He's got an artistic mind, I have an artistic mind. Like, I know what it's like to have that vision and be like, oh, this would look so cool. Once you decide on it, you're like, this is what we're doing. And you're willing to move heaven and earth to make it happen. However, he's not the one who had to move heaven and earth to make it happen. I had to move heaven and earth to make it happen. And to be honest, I don't even know if this counts as making it happen because this dress is too tight. It's just, it's just too small. It just is. I, I need to be like a size down to feel comfortable in this. It's even more obvious because it's a white dress <laughs> and especially on camera. It looks okay in person, not gonna lie. Here in the skinny mirror, it's an option, but on camera, I can tell looking at myself, it's not good. This is my good option. It's too small. I knew it was too small. So that's why I did shop for other white things. All right, so that's white option number one. It's not working. Let me try the jumpsuit. I wouldn't normally wear a shaper under a jumpsuit, but I already have it on. I'm not gonna take it off, sorry boys. <laughs> this fits great. Like, I'm okay with this. It's not a dress. It's got dyed a little bit blue because my boyfriend who I love with all my heart washed it in the same load as some jeans. That's my hypothesis anyway. This is a feasible option. I'm gonna bring it. Hi! You wanna come down? Hi, cutie cat. I love you. Here you go. Oh, I forgot. One of my red options. I mean, it's not red, it's burgundy. 
If burgundy is an option, then this dress is an option. It fit me perfectly when I was, again, much smaller than I am now, but it's very Christmassy. I love this dress. I got this dress from the Netherlands when I went in 2016. Yeah, this dress has good memories attached. It's got the elegance that I think he's looking for. Yeah, look at this. Look how freaking good I look. Just saying. The Netherlands has it when it comes to outfitting tall ladies. Dutch people are the tallest people in the world, so I felt very at home when I was among them. So most of the just like general clothing that you were able to find in a Dutch clothing brand store was long enough. It's beautiful. This I definitely feel good about, so I'm definitely bringing this as an option. I'm glad I remembered. All right, the last thing that we need to try on is the silver sequin skirt that I got from Ann Taylor Loft outlet yesterday. I'm gonna bring so many things to work today, it's ridiculous. Oh, Dixie's sitting on them too. Look, he's a nice cat hair on my clothes. First, let me just see if this fits. Sweet. Wouldn't say it's worth $50. This is the shirt I got from Banana Republic. I'm gonna keep it, cause it's cute. And it was like 20 bucks. It's not that much to lose. Banana Republic factory store, by the way, not actual Banana Republic. Yeah, so two things. <laughs> One. <laughs> The color doesn't work because I, I hope it shows on camera. This is too warm toned for this being pretty cool toned. And secondly, this looks bad. Could maybe do like that. I like it when shirts have like slits in them like this because then you can use that to tuck in. It looks okay tucked in. If I wear a different shaper to go under the skirt that's like lower waisted, I can tuck the shirt into the shaper, smooth out the line. Um, I do want to find a more white, cool toned shirt though. I just, I love having a wardrobe that's eclectic and full of unique and interesting and different things. But that means that when I need something normal, like a solid red dress, solid white dress, I just don't have that. Or in my case, I gained weight, so I used to have it and now I don't. And I've just been kicking myself about it all day yesterday. So that was a internal monologue going on all day yesterday. It was like, damn it, if I hadn't gained weight, what I mean, what's she gonna do? I have been under a lot of stress recently at work. I know that stress is what makes me gain weight because it makes me eat differently. It is what it is, you know? It's not that big of a deal to me. Like this could work. Again, this is with him being real generous about the definition of white because this is definitely silver. At least it fits and I can present it as an option potentially. And then just for giggles, I'm going to show you the green dress so that you know what I was trying to wear that would have avoided this whole thing. I got it from Shein in my first Shein haul. As far as I know, still fits me great. <laughs> Oh look, a green dress that fits pretty freaking perfectly. Not good enough for the Christmas photo. Well, those are the options that I have that I'll be presenting today at work. I hope they like the ones that fit me okay. So I'll update you at the end of this to let you know what I ended up wearing. I'm very... This has just been exhausting, guys. Um... I'm gonna try not to think too hard about it, not to take it too personally, because I know that he just doesn't know what it's like to be a tall plus size woman going out in the world, trying to shop, trying to find something at the last minute. He can't know, he doesn't know. It's not personal, but in a lot of subliminal ways, it feels personal. So, all right. Thank you for watching. If you're here this far, I'll see you in a second to let you know what we went with for this photo shoot. Okay, a few hours later, I can update you. This is the winning white outfit. I didn't think he would like it because it's a jumpsuit, but he went for it. I got to do some fun poses because they're pants. Now I'm gonna try this one. Okay, I forgot to say before I changed, the worldly fun aunt dress from Burlington was the one that they went with for my red dress. So at least yesterday was not in vain. And then I got this Christmas sweater from Walmart this morning, and I'm pairing it with the sequin skirt from Ann Taylor Loft. So hopefully they like this. And again, yesterday will not have been in vain. The sweater was like 25 bucks, but it's like 
this is a good sweater. I look absolutely fat in it, but it's okay because it's supposed to be ugly. Super cute. The photo shoot is over. My part has definitely been over for a little bit and um, the guys liked all of my outfits, including this one, which was super fun to wear. I just tried talking to my boss and he did the thing that I kind of thought that he would do, which is try to be like, oh, well, just don't be embarrassed about your size and your weight. And because I told him that yesterday was embarrassing for me, and he was like, oh, don't be embarrassed. And he thought that I was like being embarrassed about my weight <laughs> rather than some of the other stuff that I was thinking. Hopefully we have some time to talk a little bit more about it, but he said that he will not do that again and he will let me know in advance. So at least he said it so I can hold him to it. <laughs> Okay, my friends, the photo shoot is over. I am on my break. I am eating cake and pizza. <laughs> and my little chinny chin chin is red from lipstick and from my mask wearing off my makeup. So here are my takeaways from this whole weird fashion emergency event. First of all, I understand that my boss had no ill intentions and that he just doesn't know what it's like to be me and to not be able to walk into the first store and find anything that I want that fits me. You don't know what you don't know, you know? I definitely don't hold a ton of resentment toward him or anything. In the moment, it felt very emotional because of all my anxiety and depression and problems. I think I can try to explain it more to him so that he understands. Like, for example, he thought that I spent $30 altogether on all the clothes I got. Um, <laughs> no, the sequin skirt alone was 50. The Walmart sweater was like 26. So no, I spent like $150 last minute on this thing. Like, thank God I had just gotten paid but he said that he's not going to do that again. <laughs> he's gonna let me know in advance. So I have that. And ultimately like the idea that he had for the photos was super fun. It was like all of us decorating the Christmas tree and he's gonna do a lot of Photoshopping so that all of the different staff members from all the different branches of the business can all be shown together in the photos. It can look like a group photo, even though each of us took our photos separately because COVID and having our masks off for the photos. It was a really good, cool, creative idea. I just wish that he'd had it like a week ago <laughs> so that I had time to go get stuff for a good price. So as vexing as yesterday was, ultimately it all worked out okay in the end. And it's not my boss's fault entirely. And I also know that he didn't mean any harm and for me, intention matters. I know that a lot of times, a lot of people are like, well, it doesn't matter if you meant harm, it still happened. So you're still at fault and you still need to apologize. For me, it's, for me, it's different. Like if you accidentally <laughs> cause me to have a bad day and you didn't mean to, that's very different than purposefully like making me upset, you know? I just hope that he can start to understand over time why it's embarrassing and why it's emotional for me. I don't mind talking with people about my weight. That's why I have a whole YouTube channel about the fact that I'm plus size tall and curvy, but it's different when I choose to share about my weight and the struggles and the size that I am and all of this stuff. But when I'm thrust into a scenario where I have to share all of that, and when I am on display very publicly in front of my coworkers, struggling to find clothing, and I had to tell them my sizes because they wanted to go look for stuff for me. It's different. It feels violating and it feels just very embarrassing. I think he's the type of person that I need to just get through to little by little. And I think it will happen. So yeah, that's the story of my fashion emergency. Thank you for coming along on this ride. I hope your <laughs> December is going better <laughs> than mine already. Ultimately, I'm not nearly as upset today as I was yesterday. Had a lot of fun doing the photo shoot. The pictures are going to be awesome, I'm sure. Once I see them, I will include them in a Pretty Hippie Christmas video. So make sure that you check them all out so you can see. And yeah, 
Have you ever been in a situation at all resembling this? <laughs> How do you do Christmas photos at work or family photos? Are you doing them like my boss is this year where you're just kind of photoshopping people in instead of taking real group photos? What's the tea on Christmas photos this year? Because <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> and when you have last minute shopping to do, what is your go-to store? for plus size tall curvy ladies. What is your go-to last minute? I have something tomorrow store to go to. I need to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you and your time and the fact that you are spending your Christmas, your time here with me. So much love, bye.